Dale here with Pacific Sun Technologies, and I'm at the REC Group booth talking with George, the technical sales manager, that's going to give us greater details on the next generation alpha line from REC. Now, this is one of our more popular premium modules that we've been offering customers, and we're, we're really excited to be able to talk to someone on the technical side about what's making this next generation panel so much better than the previous. So I'll hand it over to you, George. Okay, great, thank you very much for having Absolutely. me on board. I really appreciate the chance to talk to everyone and to talk with you. So as mentioned, I'm George McClellan. I'm technical sales manager at REC. Uh, I've been doing this for quite a while with REC, so I know a little bit about what's going on. So REC is a industry leader in commercializing the HJT cell technology. HJT cell technology has been around for quite a while. So Sanyo did it for years and then uh, was done by Panasonic. So HJT is a, it's a valid technological advancement that actually gives you higher energy yield in the same space. I've done videos in the past, not to interrupt you, uh -huh. George. So the HG, HJT is a heterojunction cell. Exactly. And it's multiple layers of like poly and mono with some other technology integrated into it to improve the efficiency and the power output. So if you want to learn more, be sure to check out some of our past videos. George is going to just give a quick summary on how they've improved it for this generation. Absolutely. So HJT is an N-mono cell sandwiched with amorphous silicon. It provides greater uh, spectral response, so you're getting more energy out of the photons coming in. So we introduced the Alpha Pure R. We just introduced it yesterday here at RE Plus at Anaheim. It's been definitely a really exciting one, to say the least. And I, I, while I didn't get to see the uh, release or announcement, I was well aware of the, this product line coming up. So I'm pretty excited. That's why we, we scheduled right. this. This is, a, this is a new product. Um, it is a, again, our HJT cells. We utilize G12 cells. So these are 210 millimeter cells. Uh, we've made that move up from the M6 Plus. So they're larger cells. You have to have that, but you can't use a full G12 cell. You have to cut it in half for voltage and current. And you've rotated them. So and on the alpha line, the cells are cut in half landscape right. um, rather than horizontal or portrait right now. So they were horizontal before, now they're portrait cut in half. So this would be one cell and then it's cut in That's half. That's absolutely right, good observation. So we have to run these horizontally because of voltage and current concerns. Our string length can only be 10 cells. Oh, so if you increase okay. the string length, your voltage goes too high and you end up blowing up your optimizers or inverters. We don't like doing that. So. We've had to run these horizontal. We have four strings. There's one, two, three, four, and at the tops of all the string are your junction boxes and bypass diodes. And we'll be showcasing that with some additional footage so that way you can see how that's configured. It's important to note with what he's referring to as the strings is these cells connected in a series. This is significant in, in terms of the design for shading optimization. So if this cell area gets shaded, it doesn't affect the rest of the cells in the remaining Absolutely. series. There is extended shade tolerance. It used to be just two zones. Now we actually have four zones that you can shade and have the rest of the panel still be fully active. We still recommend don't install your panels in shade, but if you do, yeah. there's a built-in tolerance with this product. Well, the microinverters help too in that sense. They do. Uh, clouds create shade just on their own. <laughs> now, I know this module, there's no changes in the warranty, so we're still going to get that 25-year product. 25-year performance at 92% re power retention and then a 25-year labor warranty for pro trust partners like Pacific Sun Technology. So if you're interested in this product, we will have availability of it. Now, I know it's going to be rated up to 400 130 watts. Now we probably won't see that from the first release. It has to go through that assembly process and the cells, a lot of people don't realize is that the wattage of the panel is based upon all these cells. And as you improve manufacturing, the wattage increases and we'll eventually get to the 430. Yes, absolutely. So coming right out of the box, we do a pretty good job of new product introduction. But yeah, I expect the first modules to be coming across the pond at about 410 watts, moving it to 420. Probably by mid-year, we'll be up to 430. Because wow. you've, you've caught it exactly. You have to optimize your process. There's a couple of tweaks you can do to the equipment, but they cost money. Yeah. So you got to make it's a them balancing run. act. You got to run them to start amortizing that cost. 
but then you could do these little tweaks, get you another 10 watts, and that's really the name of the game. Now, this is going to have the highest efficiency of any of the REC previous generations at peak 22.3 percent. That's correct. And then is it going to have a higher <laughs> coefficiency rating, or are we going to at least be the same? Because I know the HJT technology tends to have a very significant improvement in that coefficiency that rating. A, the, the, so actually, the temperature coefficient is based on the cell technology. HJT is one of the most efficient because it's actually using some of the lower spectrum energy. So the lower spectrum photons are being turned into current yeah. instead of heat. So we still have that minus 0.26% thermal coefficient, which is one of the industry leaders. It makes this a great product for installing in hot temperatures and very sunny temperatures. It just California, that's it. our area, you, you know. <laughs> and uh, of course, you guys do lead free. I think you're the only manufacturer that I'm aware of that promotes that. I don't actually have a lot of details in regards to it. So can you tell us the significance of this lead-free kind of right. labeling? So the interesting piece about this is, is that REC has made a significant advances in sustainability. So not just lead-free, we have reduced our energy consumption with using our silicon. So we use curved silicon, recycled silicon, but we are also not only lead-free, but ROHS compliant. So that RHS is not only gets rid of lead, but 10 other metals and hazardous materials. So this is all going to pay off, yeah, not now, but 25 years from now. But it's the environmental impact so, as a whole for manufacturing this absolutely, panel. Absolutely. This is now paying it forward. Yeah, it costs a little bit more, but this is the right thing to do right. for a company like REC. Is there any products on the market that you kind of feel is up and coming that would be a competitor to this panel, or since LG exited, that REC has kind of filled that niche of a high-end premium product. There are some good products out there. There are, you know, people are working. They're doing a lot of work with N-Mono Topcon is becoming very popular. They're getting some very good efficiencies out of that. Now, we'll see what, what happens. I think the big key is the move, move to larger cells. They continue getting those efficiencies as their cells go larger. And then the other piece is, can they manufacture the modules? Is the equipment able to provide the consistency across a larger format. Everything has to be perfect from here to there. It's not just, you know, this row. Right. Everything's got to be uniform all the way across. With the advanced interconnect technology, we've got a very good lead on that because it was developed for larger cells. There's incredible things coming in the, yeah. in the market right now. You can look around and it's just, wow, that'd be fun to work on or right. just uh, develop that. Our, and REC has been around for 25 years. You celebrated your 25th anniversary this year. so. You guys have a long track history of providing a premium product in this industry and honoring your warranties very well. So personally, we've had very little to no issues with the REC modules that we've installed. And if we did have an issue, the service support that we received was subpar. I've never seen anybody provide such support. It was so simple and quick. I think we only replaced one panel. The Alpha Line and the Twin Peak, I, I want to say the failure rate was less than 0.001%. I, I don't expect this to be anything but similar. That's exactly right. So what we're seeing is about 50 parts per million failure rate, wow. which is, I'll do the math for you there, it's about one module for every 15,000 it's about one module for every five megawatts. Yeah, wow, So it's a small number, it but you've caught on something really key is the warranty. So yes, everyone's gonna have warranty claims. It's not if, but when. It's how you react to those. Right. You've got a very good, but the other piece is, is failure rates. It doesn't matter how good your warranty is. I don't care if you've got a stipe, you're paying a stipend and you're getting free modules. I don't want someone up there crawling up on my roof. Every, every single time, every, every quarter, year. Every yeah. quarter, every year. <laughs> So what I like to say is the best warranty out there is one that you don't have to use. Right. And that's what REC provides. It looks good. You did all black. I mean, right. it, you're going in that direction. And do you think you guys will do anything to move the bus bars to the back of the panel? So interdigitated back contacts is probably the next horizon. Okay. So the customer has the lust for more watts peak. Yeah. Per package. And so, yeah, if you remove the bus bars from the front, put them on the back, you get more blue on the front, more current. It's not trivial to do. It's hard. There's a reason that uh, SunPower is the leader in that or used to be the leader in yeah, that. Yeah, now Maxian will be Maxian, taking over. So it's a good product. It is on our roadmap. 
you know, we'll see. We've got other fish to fry. It may first. not be worth it if it's going to put you in a price point that just doesn't make it economical. Because it's a balancing act. You want to have a great product. You want it to look good. But do you really want to spend, you know, three times as much That's if, exactly just right. for these, these little bars to be hidden? When honestly, if you look at any of our projects, you can't see them. You know, once it's on a tilt, you really That's can't right. see this. this is see it straight you see on. Yeah, beautiful. straight up Absolutely. and down. Yeah. You're 20.7 watts per square foot, right? Yes. So yep. that's pretty high. I don't think a lot of panels are anywhere near that. You know, some people will start paying attention to that, especially in the premium space. Module efficiency is really important when you've got small spaces to deal yeah. with. Fortunately, here in the United States, we all have these giant houses. Most so there's places, lots of, yeah. lots of rooftop to deal with. But absolutely, it's one of the most efficient modules on the panel. We've reduced the gap from cell to cell. Uh, yeah, you're doing the gapless we're technology doing gapless. on this. Yeah, yeah. We're doing gapless. I'm really excited about it. I can't wait to be able to offer it to our customers. We've already had customers that are in queue waiting for us to give them a quote for this so we can install it on their home next year. So if you're interested in the REC Alpha Pure R, the next generation, we'll likely have it at a 410, maybe 415 or a 420 early next year. So be sure to inquire about it by using the link down in the description below. And for that, you know, I really appreciate your chime, George. If there's anything Very you want to let our viewers know. The Alpha series, it's coming out strong. Uh, all of the modeling we've done, all the testing we've done, are showing it's a very good product. Looking forward to getting it on the market. I know there's a lot of pent-up demand. Be patient, and we're gonna get there, and you're gonna love it. Thank you.